everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to bring you another fun recipe. And the recipe is called something like chocolate peanut butter no bake protein bites or something like that. I'll give you the official name once we get going. But it sounds super delicious. And I don't know about your house, but my house right now, there's candy here. I mean, it, it just, it seems to keep coming into the house. I have no idea. So candy, sweets, you know, it's, it's that time of year, October, Halloween, we all get it. So I'm trying to find a couple of recipes for myself and you to get me through some of those sweet cravings. And hopefully, hopefully this will be the one. So I've got a couple of these on my radar. This is the first one we're going to make. I think we're going to have a three part series on this. So stay tuned for those other two um, bite, little yummy bite recipes. And with that said, let's jump in. I'll tell you what the ingredients are and we'll get started. Okay, so for today's recipe, we're gonna need two scoops of a protein powdered drink mix. So I'm gonna use my Quest chocolate protein, eight tablespoons of powdered peanut butter, one banana, two tablespoons of water, a pinch of kosher salt, one cup of quick cooking rolled oats, and three tablespoons of almond flour. And in my case, I don't keep almond flour. And for three tablespoons, I'm just gonna use plain all-purpose flour. So let's turn around and get this started. Oh, and let me let me give you the name. Chocolate peanut butter no-bake protein bites. I think that's how I said it when I started. Now I did get this recipe from the Weight Watchers site and I'll link that below so that you can pick up a copy of this for yourself. And it makes 20 protein bites and it's only one smart point. So you can't go wrong with that one smart point little treats. So uh, let's get started. Let's get this stuff in. You also need to put this into your food processor. I was gonna use my Nutribullet today, but I was a little worried that it wouldn't fit and it wouldn't, the dough wouldn't come together. So I pulled out my favorite KitchenAid um, food processor today. So we're gonna use that and get this recipe pulled together. All right, it also says that you could put it in the fridge for up to a week or you can freeze it. So if you want to just make a full batch, it also says you can make a half batch. I'm going to make a full batch because I plan on sharing these. So let's get this pulled together. The first thing we need to do is we need to pull together our protein powder, seven tablespoons of the powdered peanut butter, the banana, water, and salt. So I'm just going to bring my instructions over here because I'll never remember all that. All right, so let's go. First thing, two scoops of protein powder. And I really like the Quest. It's one of my favorite go-to protein powders. I've tried a couple of them, you know, a couple other brands out there. And I keep coming right back to the Quest. You can pick up the Quest, I always get asked this, you can pick up the Quest either on Amazon or one of your local vitamin shops. Um, GNC used to carry it. I haven't had luck finding it there, but I did have one of my members in my workshops at Weight Watchers tell me that they found it at GNC. So take a look at your local shops. Um, again, it looks like this, just in case you're wondering. I like the chocolate. I really like the vanilla milkshake. That's one of my favorites too, so I always keep that on hand. All right, so the next thing we're gonna throw in is seven tablespoons. It did call for eight, but one of them you're gonna to use to toss the protein bites in. So we're gonna get that in. I tried to shake it to where it just kind of gave me an even I was afraid if I scooped it and then pushed it up against the side that it would be packed. And it didn't say packed, so I definitely don't want to do that. All right, next thing, one medium banana ripen. This is a little bit larger than a medium, but we're gonna we're gonna go for that. I'm gonna bring you in closer because I think that might be a little better for you. There we go. Toss our banana in. The fun thing about having a larger banana is you get to have a little snack when you're done making your recipe. So just save a couple bites for yourself for later. All right, so we got that in there. I'm gonna set that off to the side. 
The next thing we want to put in is our water and our salt. It said a pinch of salt and it said kosher salt. So I have this big container here. This is, I don't know, maybe they salt smaller. So I got some salt in there. And then two tablespoons of water. So that's one and two. All right. So let's go ahead and get this going. I'm gonna cut out here and then I'm gonna cut back so that you don't have to hear it. If it's not super loud, I might leave it in, but I think it's gonna be super loud. So just to make it easier on you. Well, um, <laughs> we might wanna plug it in. That might, that totally might help. All right. <laughs> Okay, so it said just to put that together until it can bind. The next thing we're gonna add in is three tablespoons of flour. And again, did call for almond flour, but I don't have that. So we'll just use what we have. So that's one, two, and three. This recipe seems simple enough. I seen it a while ago and it looked really good and interesting, so I thought that might be something fun we could make together and see how we like it. I need a one cup measuring cup. I've got a half cup here, we're gonna put two of these in. Of course, inside I have a quarter cup. Do you do that? Let me know in the comments if you leave measuring cups in your containers just to make it easier. Normally when I'm using the quick cooking oats, I'm only using a quarter cup. Um, in my old fashioned oats, since I use three, I'm sorry, a third cup, I always leave my third cup in there. So yeah, I, I actually buy extras just so I can leave them in my containers. It just, it really, it really helps me out. All right, so put these in and then pulse until it forms a ball. I'm not sure how this is gonna form a ball because it seems pretty dry, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. All right, I'm thinking we need more liquid. What do you think? did say two tablespoons of water. All right, we're gonna add some more water. I think that's gonna be our ticket. I'm just gonna pull these out and then we'll start adding water a tablespoon at a time until we get something going. All right, that worked. Spill a little water on my counter. Did you guys catch that? All right, I'm gonna pull this out. We're gonna put it into a bowl, and then we're gonna start scooping these into, I think it's good, it might already be, hold on. All right, we'll just scrape it out if it's not all together. There's a couple pieces in there, so let me get a bowl, and then we will put that. I think that was the ticket, it needed more water. I'm not sure. I've never made this before, so I'm not sure exactly how that was supposed to combine together. And normally I would just scoop it out of the container that it's in, but I think that we're going to have to scoop it all out of there in order to get it to combine more. So get us a bowl here. I'm going to grab a spatula. Oh, all right. Ooh, I've got this really wet. I may have to add some more. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this real quick without adding a ton of points into our mixture. It's always a guessing game when you're cooking, right? And if I was perfect all the time, you guys would think that I was filming recipes four or five times just to get them right, and you know I don't do that. All right, so let's put this back on. This is, this, this is turning out to be a lot longer than I intended. I expected this to be coming, just to kind of come together super quick. But you know, not my look today. Ooh, I could smell, you, you could really smell that banana in there. That's funny, it's not the smell that I expected. It's not that, you know, the first smell that I expected to kinda hit me in the nose. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to scoop these out of the bowl into one tablespoon balls. We're gonna add in our one tablespoon of powdered peanut butter into this bowl. We'll see how far that goes. And then we're just gonna go ahead and scoop. One tablespoon. 
They won't be perfect, but that's okay. I'm not looking for perfect. I'm just looking for something that's going to taste good to get rid of that sweet craving. So I'm just going to go ahead and scoop this in. And I'll see how many I can get this bowl comfortably, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got those scooped into balls. I have eight in my container, and then I have another 14. <laughs> I have to think about that. 14 on my plate. We actually got 22 out of the batch. So I'm just going to be confident saying that I did not change the points on this. So it says just to kind of toss them. Not sure how one tablespoon is going to go, so we may have to add more of that. But again, we got more than expected out of this batch. It must smell good because Camo is over here trying to get a, get a nose full. So we're going to go ahead and keep tossing these in our container. We'll see how many more I can get out of this one. I may have to do half and then add one more, one more tablespoon of the powdered peanut butter just to kind of get it, to get them all coated, which I, yeah, I think we're going to have to definitely do that. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to refrigerate these because I think that if they were a little harder, and again, I think I way put too much water in it. So when you guys make these, don't add so much water. Just stay, you know, stay on the, just be a little more cautious with it. Um, I got a little overzealous and a little excited, so I really kind of overdid it, which is fine. I mean, it's fine. I still, I still don't think the extra one point of peanut butter or the extra little bit of um, flour that I put in is going to make a difference because of the fact that we did get 22 out of the batch. All right, that's, and we're gonna have a little bit left over, I'm sure. All right, one more toss, and then I will get these into the fridge, and then I will come back, give it a try, and let you know my thoughts. So I'm gonna sign off from here, I'm gonna get these last couple done, and then stay tuned. I wanted to quickly show you how much was you know left. I just kind of scooped it in the best I could, and, um, it's almost a full tablespoon, so we really didn't use a lot of that. So just wanted to kind of give you a quick little update there that we, you know, we didn't use another full tablespoon. I just needed it in order to coat it. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, just wanted to show you a quick little look of our yummy protein bites. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these on camera. Hopefully, hopefully this is not too close of an angle because we don't want that. So here we go. Okay, hopefully I don't have food in my teeth because I'm afraid of that all the time. When you take it and that powdered peanut butter gets on there, you get like an instant peanut butter blast. And then after that, you get subtle tones of chocolate and peanut butter. I was worried that the oatmeal would be, I mean, too much in there because sometimes, you know, oatmeal is too too chewy, but it's totally not. So I can see these being really good. I think that if they were just a little less wet, that, I'm afraid I have food on my, if they were a little less wet, I think they would have been a, a just a, a, just a different texture, but I'll make these again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze these. And I think I'm gonna freeze half of them just, cause, just because I, I'd like to try them frozen. And then I will make these again and be careful with the amount of water that I put in. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give these a thumbs up. I think they're pretty good. So with that said, signing off from here. Hope that you give these a try in your own homes. And we'll see you next time.